Hey guys, I have an update to my 3-in-1 stencil on stamp technique. A step-by-step -step tutorial is being featured over on Split Coast Stampers, so be sure to use the link below to check that out. So first we're going to create a DIY stencil with a piece of vellum and a die. Cover dies are great for this. I'm going to use these stars because I thought it would go great with this balloon. And you want to make sure that you have a solid stamp and you want to make sure that your die is larger than your stamp. I've gone ahead and cut my vellum stencil. I'm conditioning my solid stamp here. This is easier with the Misty, but you could do it with stamp block. And I'm going to ink up the stamp with some embossing ink. Now, this is going to help to keep your dye ink moist. This was a larger stamp than I did it the first time that I shared this technique. And I found that the dye ink was drying too quickly. Inking it up with the embossing ink is gonna help to keep that dye ink moist so that you're able to get a clean stamped image. So I'm gonna place my DIY vellum stencil over the stamp and what I'm going to do is just tape it to my misty door. Now you can do this with stamp blocks. You would just need a stamp block that's large enough to be able to, to stamp your vellum to it, but I do find it's really handy to have a misty. So I'm just making sure that my stencil is laying flat over my solid stamp. Now if you don't have any solid stamps like this, Take a look through your stash because you could use the back side of one of your stamps as well. So consider that and that will also help you stretch your supplies and get a little more mileage out of the things that you have in your stash. I'm gonna use three different um, shades of blue ink here. I'm starting with my mid-tone blue and I am inking up the stamp directly through this stencil. So in addition to inking up the stars, I want to ink up the whole area in the shape of that stamp, extending past the stamp just a little bit, and you'll see why when we move on to our second technique. Now I'm coming in with my darker shade and adding some shadow so that I can bring a little bit of dimension to this balloon. So I'm leaving a highlight area with my mid-tone and then peeling off the DIY stencil and we're gonna stamp our stars. So the reason you want your die to be larger than your stamp is so that pattern can continue off the edge. That's going to look more realistic than it being smaller than your stamp. That's also gonna to help to create the edges. Now, if you were to do the same technique with a cover die, you wouldn't need to do this next technique of inking up your solid stamp in this way. My stars don't completely cover the area, so I'm gonna take my lightest blue, ink up the solid stamp and stamp that around so that I get the full perimeter of that balloon. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. I wanna add some shading to my balloon here, just like I did inking up the stencil. And I'm just gonna build up that color with the darker blue until I'm happy with the shading that I have on this balloon, which I think looks really great. So then included in the stamp set is the little balloon end, you know, where you tie it. So I'm gonna add that and I've just rock and rolled it in the darker blue. I stamped with the mid-tone. I rock and rolled it in the darker blue to again, add a little bit of shading to that. Now this is our second technique or second element that we're gonna create. So I'm taking a mini mister and our vellum stencil, the ink side up, and I'm spraying it three to four times to get a pretty even but light coverage of water. And then I'm going to press this down on a piece of cardstock. It can be a scrap piece. We're going to die cut this piece. And I'm just gonna take a piece of copy paper so that I can spread that out and just make sure that it stamps really well. So basically we're using this stencil and the leftover ink on the stencil as a stamp. So you can see we get a nice distressed look here. And then our third technique, we're going to put glue on the back side of our homemade stencil. This is a large glue pen, which I find works really well for vellum, but if you have a favorite vellum adhesive, definitely go ahead and use that. So you wanna make sure that you get glue all around the edges of the stars and around the perimeter of it. Then we're gonna take it and press this down on a piece of cardstock. I'm just gonna clean any excess glue off my surface. And we'll do the same thing. We'll put a piece of copy paper over this and make sure that everything gets adhered really well. Now, because we sprayed the stencil in the last step, it has these great, it has great texture to this. This is actually my favorite element from this set um, because of the white droplet um, texture that's left from spraying it with the water. I think it's a really, really cool piece. 
So we've got that all adhered down, and then what we'll do is we'll take circle stacking dies and just go ahead and die cut these two elements. So this is why you want it to ink a little bit past your stamp so that you have a little wiggle room when you go to die cut. Now, I did decide to die cut one smaller um, just to have a little variance, and then I'm gonna take a scrap of the vellum on the cardstock that we had there, and I'm just gonna cut the little balloon end because I want it to match the vellum piece that we have there and then the distressed balloon that we have up top. I'll do the same thing. I have a piece of sticky back fun foam here that I have die cut with a smaller die. You could use foam tape as well or foam squares. And I'm just gonna put that on the back. I'll do the same with the smaller piece. And I really like the setup of these stars. I feel like it also adds dimension to the circular piece, just the way that they're set up. And I, I don't know, to me, it just, I, I really loved the combination of these two sets together. So I've just cut a little bit off of my sticky foam here so that there's not too much bulk where those two balloons overlap. This is the balloon string stamp that comes in the small set. So I'm just gonna stamp that down. If you didn't have that and you were just using a circle stamp, you could definitely just draw that in with a pin and a ruler. Then I'm gonna add some glue and I totally, I totally added too much glue. So I'll just use the other piece to spread that around. Then I'll get these adhered down. I put a block on them until they were dry. Then I flipped it over, trimmed the excess from the back. And then I'll go ahead and pop up the balloon end with a foam square. I'll go ahead and stamp the balloon string on this one. And if you don't get it all the way to that balloon end, you can just use a pen to fill in the space. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use the sentiment from the set, from the set and I'm stamping this with a black pigment ink so it's nice and crisp. I went ahead and stamped the other sentiment off camera and now we need to mask our sentiment because I want to stamp the other balloon string. So I'm just using a piece of washi tape. You could use any kind of masking paper that you have. And I just got some of the sticky off on my hand. So we'll just press that down, peel up the tape. I'll get the other balloon and popped up on some foam, add some sequins and these cards will be done. Here are a couple close-ups so you can see the texture of that stamped image. You can see the sponge dauber texture in that stamping and I just love how that turned out. And then with the second card we have the largest balloon is the vellum on the cardstock. The smaller balloon is the technique we use by stamping the vellum onto a piece of cardstock. Here are the cards together. I hope you enjoyed that my update to this technique. I'll put a link to my first three-in-one stencil and stamp technique up above if you haven't seen that already. Huge thanks to Dina for inviting me to guest over on Split Coast Stampers. If you guys haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit that button down below, hit the like button, and I'll see you real soon with more inspiration. Thanks so much.